wash my soul in the ocean in the tears of God I let it go oh my astrology family this is Lada from astrolada.com and these are your October 2021 video horoscopes for all the 12 signs and by the way October will be a very fascinating month because we have four planets turning direct which is uh, very positive to some extent because it means many areas of your life will start moving ahead in a positive direction without surprises and complications so we expect a big turn of the winds happening in October but if you want to have more specific predictions for your personal chart only you can check for free your uh, personal transits on my free transit calendar you can see a video out of it here when every each transit is specific for you no one else in the world will have them at the same time as you so you can really follow what's exactly happening like a professional astrologer will do it for you from my transit calendar which is for free for everyone and now enjoy the 2021 october videos this is sun moon or rising october 2021 and that's with tropical western zodiac Pisces, quite a few good news, six planets, sorry, four planets are turning direct and they rule together six areas of your life, actually even seven if you count that Pluto or Scorpio. Out of 12, out of 12 major areas in our lives, gradually over October, uh, six to seven ones will start improving and becoming easier, more... Uh, uh, we're going to start seeing the results of previously put efforts in those fields. Obstacles will be removed there, there gradually. And let's start one by one. First, there will be a new moon on the 6th in your 8th house. Uh, and there's, you see there's a lot of activity in that 8th house. The Sun, Moon, Mercury, Mars is there. And most of the month, those planets will be activating your 8th house. So there's something new being born in this 8th house. There might be an opportunity for new uh, collaboration that brings income to you through others. There might be an opportunity to start like do new insurance, new life policy, will, or some, uh, some new developments in taxes, or maybe get a new tax guy, <laughs> you know, or also 8th house is money that, uh, that our partner's money, maybe your partner, if you're married, if you have a business partner can uh, bring a new idea or a new source of income or they can be a new beginning in their finances or they can become more um, motivated to start something to create more financial stability more financial increase in your life uh, to start some new investments or something like that eighth house is also investments that you can get with some new ideas to invest in the stock market or you know and it might be a bit impulsive and there might be some expenses that come to you from neutral resources uh, but at the same time jupiter all the time holds a trine to those planets in your eighth house all the month basically so even if there are certain losses eventually these investments you make will be for good so try not to be too impulsive try and hold things for the you know if you do investments to be patient you know because eventually it turns out well towards the end of the month um, eighth house is also the house of psychological insights and deep research so you might find yourself becoming more introspective and maybe starting to work with a psychologist an astrologer an occultist you might find yourself deep diving into astrology to understand the motivation of your subconscious to understand the karmic patterns because that's the most investigative house in astrology the eighth that's the energy of scorpio it, it might feel a little bit dark i just went through many planets in the eighth house transiting and uh, my grandma just died it's the house of death as well but uh, it's um, you know because so many planets also moving into my ninth now i see it as a she's in a happier place she lived 93 but you might have some a little bit more crisis situations happening it's eighth house rules life death and crisis so you might uh, and conceptions some of you might conceive because there is triple new beginnings uh, uh because three new cycles are starting in the eighth house sun conjunct mars sun conjunct mercury mercury conjunct mars and a new moon four new cycles and one of those lasts for two and a half years so you might for some of you for example start some new venture that will bring you over the next month or 
couple of years more income through others some of you might start studying the occult some of you might get into astrology the eighth house is ruled by astrology some of you might get into psychology some of you might get into conspiracies what they call conspiracies not it's uh, it's all all the conspiracies i've had turned out true so i can't even call myself conspiracy theorist anymore <laughs> conspiracy realist I, I don't know what the word is uh, but you might get yourself into getting into to finding out the dirt to find it to confronting evil confronting what is negative within yourself your shadow or the shadow of the earth uh, and not everyone likes those topic oftentimes we try and escape from them unless you have a strong pluto eighth house or scorpio pisces might even more try to avoid those things but this time you'll find yourself really kind of going into that frame of thought and starting to doubt I'm not talking just about the world, what's happening, starting to doubt even people around you because your bullshit barometer becomes very powerful. You might even find yourself surprising yourself with certain insights about motivations of others, their true motives, their true feelings. It's like it will be very hard for someone to lie to you this month, but you can also enter in a lot of power struggles with others. Uh, so be careful, there can be some explosive power struggles, Eighth house rules those things. Uh, it sounds gloom and dark but i i'm so grateful those planets just came out of my eighth house so i before you i went through that but for you it will be even more powerful because they joined there and especially be careful around you know the sixth till the ninth tenth when those planets are very tightly conjoined together you can find yourself yourself into more arguments power struggles and the whole month mars is conjunct mercury the whole month basically there is more argumentativeness in the air and mercury rules your relationships the seventh house so you can find yourself being less tolerant with others or others being more pushy um, and uh, you know sometimes in worst case scenario it can be even someone trying to harm you but you you immediately you smell that you would feel it and there is one very great news is that all the time jupiter which rules you is making a trine to the mars mercury conjunction which lasts almost the whole month which means that you through your benevolence kindness forgiveness ability to see things from a higher perspective you resolve those conflicts and they get solved out quickly and actually it might be good that they exploded because um, they can take you eventually they turn out for best uh, so the power is equalized because it has the house of power who holds power over you or you over someone or something over you uh, and that's why often time is very psychological house people get into exploring their subconscious into speaking or talking about psychology astrology into such kind of a healing methods uh, that are uh, more let's say spiritually occult based healing methods um, and another thing it can trigger a powerful healing the eighth house is the house of healing and it usually happens through some deep psychological realization that you reach and uh, it might be painful psychological realization but you can't avoid the deep truths anymore and this trip quadruple new beginnings in your eighth house can get you like a such in powerful insight suddenly You're like wow and according to this insight you start changing yourself psychologically and a big healing can happen i've seen when there is a powerful trigger of the eighth house and people realize some deep motivations they have and some deep psychological patterns whether through working with a psychologist or just spontaneously uh, there is like a release like a release of emotions which can feel volcanic but that release of uh, emotions follow and can feel very physical so but after that it is followed by healing and even healing of uh, uh, obsessions addictions or physical illnesses because most of the physical illnesses and obsessions and addictions there because of uh, you know unrealized feelings or suppressed feelings and now th there is this explosion that's happening in october for you it was very explosive for me last month because i have the previous sign aquarius rising um, and still is some very intense experiences that can that can feel like a crisis in your life but that will trigger powerful transformations on a deep level and uh and after that feels liberating especially after the 21st second of october when the all the planets start moving into scorpio you'd feel like 
you have different eyes, um, higher perspective, like you've come out of a tunnel and you've changed. You've gone to Tukhares down, you got uh, uh, raped a bit, <laughs> and you no, sorry, and you saw your, uh, you saw your inner shadow uh, and the shadows of others, and you came out of there and you're reborn again. But you're going through this initiation first. Um, so it is fascinating. I would say a great remedy is read astrology more because this, or read conspiracy or forbidden topics that the government doesn't allow you. Then you can avoid the more negative uh, manifestations like power struggles. What can I say? I've done this. I've done this the whole month eight, uh, but uh, still it is um, just a second. Constantly do those eight house activities like astrology research uh, reading about life after death past lifetimes karma this is all psychology sometimes reversals happen and those reversals are needed to speed up our evolution because nothing can make you have a big psychological transformation as a big shake up and just like when when my grandma died a couple of days ago uh, of course I, it shook me to the core and uh, but i had some powerful realizations and uh, it's like a mini rebirth such events i'm not saying someone will die in your life don't think that but you can have encounter with such topics about mortality death about birth all the big big events in life all the big reversals and what it really helps is delving into eight house topics and literature which i shared to you what are those things are and uh, delving even into some of you might decide to watch uh, uh, documentaries about uh, uh, criminals or about victims and murders and stuff like that this is again a different type of uh, or eighth house you know or just watch documentaries about power powerful leaders power plays the mafia uh, another eighth house topics that you might be dealing with or those in the hidden in control the elites and that can you know that can release some of the more you know um, it can be utilized this energy in a less painful way let's say um, and more introspective you definitely are this month going to be more introspective um, all right and but it's not only such intense topics we have a great news happening and that's saturn and jupiter turning direct in your 12th house first saturn on the 12th on the 11th of October turns direct in your 12th house then Jupiter follows it Saturn also rules your 11th house of gains and income and it rules your um, 12th house where it is as well which means that if there were some invisible boulders and stones that were tripping you in regards to achieving large goals and dreams of yours gains and income which is the 11th house and especially invisible such which are bigger than you maybe connected with what's happening in the world maybe they're beyond you because the saturn is also the rule of the 12th house something we don't have control over something that is uh, destiny so to speak uh, the invisible forces that rule uh, and direct things invisibly from behind the scenes so if, if there's been a blockage especially in regards to your social life or uh, in regards to other 11th house matters so in regards to your gains and earnings uh, in regards to your uh, following your goals and dreams you might start seeing when Saturn starts moving direct that it's becoming easier and easier and there is like loosening of that grip and and and, and blockages in those areas plus uh, anything that is if there was some kind of a hidden enemy which is the 12th house someone who's been doing damage behind your back um, and you're gonna start seeing this damage being undone now or they're them, themselves getting undone <laughs> because there is a change of wind a change of direction of a difficult planet in a difficult house towards more positive circumstances also if you felt some spiritual blockages or you're kind of confused what you're where you're headed because there is a process of disintegration when saturn transits the 12th house which pisces is a very familiar on because with because pisces naturally rules letting go and not having to control everything and uh, merging into the infinite <laughs> just spacing out uh, but it's it's usually i remember i had last year two for two years saturn and every time saturn went retrograde in my second house I was really beating myself psychologically. Uh, my mental health would go bad. 
with words uh, my uh, I'll feel more stuck and uh, more isolated as well and I would feel so I would get some very deep spiritual insights especially when Saturn started moving direct as a direct uh, exp as a direct uh, consequence of the um, of the period while Saturn was retrograde how I felt stuck and um, how I felt like circumstances beyond me uh, like tying my hands it's the 12th house you don't have control over it it's something the ball is rolling you can't stop it and you didn't push the ball well <laughs> it's always us maybe in a past lifetime you pushed the ball and now you're you know now you're seeing the consequences but it's often it's un, un you don't realize why it's happening so uh, such circumstances will weaken now they would become easier you're not necessarily going to immediately you know start you know everything is perfect but you see you notice that it's lighter and lighter you know uh, and also your outlook can become more positive gradually and jupiter the best news is the planet that rules you jupiter is turning direct on the 19th together with mercury on the same day actually 18th 19th uh, turning direct you'll see that the month progressively gets better and better and uh, mercury rules your relationship so if you had some complications especially in regards to mutual finances resources or intimacy in a relationship or with business partners um, or in business transaction business agreements or in documents they would be they would improve if you had some problems with insurances inheritances documents connected to uh, stock market investments of any sorts uh, financial matters because mercury is in a financial house you'd also see those problems will be resolved and things will start moving well plus seventh house mercury rules it your relationship and if you had some power struggles in your relationships and your communications with others with love with you know partner business partner or marriage partner or committed boyfriend girlfriend you'd see again very positive resolution uh, with deep insights that you've gained from the crisis power struggle before that um, and after the 18th they start resolving and you see why it happened um, and of course pa mercury also rules your fourth house so if there were complications and power struggles that were being happening while mercury was retrograde with mars the planet of anger with your family in matters regarding property they'll start getting resolved after the 18th again in a very positive matter because jupiter is holding a trine as well so don't sweat it this month even if there are such situations and of course um, jupiter rules you so you can start feeling feeling more energy after the 19th you can start feeling you're more motivated or that things are going more according to your will according to your uh directions it's kind of you have more free will when a planet with the, uh, that rules you goes direct and it's going direct in the 12th house so you can see some very positive resolutions in matters regarding start if, if there are complications and delays in matters regarding relocating to foreign country foreign travel uh, blockages to you having a break or a holiday bro blockage you know some kind of stagnation in regards to um uh being some kind of isolation being in some kind of uh, being stuck in some way you start seeing that this state psychologically emotionally become easier in the outer circumstances which are pushing you in those states as well um, also if you have if you've been doing some deep research for some time you can start having incredible insights when those two planets are turning direct now because the 12 houses where we directly connect with higher power now you've been digging deep when they were retrograde uh, maybe you thought you were even stuck but actually now when they start moving direct you you those subconscious installations you receive you start receiving downloads but they start becoming conscious now you've been receiving the downloads when they were retrograde but you couldn't have access to them your body was first processing them and now you can start processing them more consciously deep deep insights the deepest insights i ever got about my profession in astrology and the most powerful work i ever did was when i had saturn and jupiter in the 12th house and the most powerful video i did was when they started turning direct because last year they started turning direct around the same time so they can be very positive stuff also if you've been stuck in a situation like being tied down in hospital bed or in some kind of other isolation situation 
there can be a weakening of this there can be easing off of that um, anything which is uh, this 12th house energy or if you've been working on some projects behind the scenes that requires a long time of isolation and it's been having obstacles and you know going slowly both of those planets turning direct in october you start seeing this projects behind the scenes moving very positive or if you work in careers that are psych uh, psychological because 9 12 house rule psychology uh, in careers that are connected with manipulation of information or knowledge of some sort or like a director where you pull the things behind the scene you tell people what to do behind the scenes or if you're in a career that is connected to hospitals to dormitories to hotel hotels and uh, faraway island tourism you might see easing off of restrictions or blockages in those careers you might see things progressing much easier uh, you know so spiritual artistic musical fields which are very 12th house uh, you can have you can have especially powerful month and insights and moving ahead with such projects gradually during this month uh, so you see it's not all doom and gloom plus venus will be in your 10th house the whole month so actually there is a lot of good stuff that's happening with your career and venus is like the apex of all those planets it will sextile all those planets you see and uh, it's almost like you'll gather your deep insights from the eighth house and your deep psychological realizations or even if an, an ability to act on emergencies and channel it through your work and you can gather your deep also insights of research or like downloads that happen here or even spiritual uh, channeling 12 houses when you, your ancestors or invisible forces start working for you to for you to do especially if you're very aligned to certain line of work they you almost start channeling your work and you start doing it in your sleep as they say so you can channel this powerful intuition of the 8th and 12th house those powerful spiritual impulses from the invisible realms into your career to create something of beauty especially if your career is spiritual because Ketu is there with Venus you can have some oh, spiritual more you know um, humanitarian let's say uh, more not money driven so to speak not so much uh, recognition driven but you can have great positive development with your career there or any kind of career you can channel those insights from the 8th and the 12th houses so there you go pisces your planet is turning direct so things will be better don't worry <laughs> and very soon it will be in your sign in, a, in a two three months from now so things will really take a positive upturn for you anyway if you want to look at your own specific transits that no one else in the world has at the same time with you check out the transit calendar it is for free you just have to make an account and it updates every few days for the next week and you can see only your specific transits and see how they're going to affect you so thank you so much